I don't think these claims are new. These claims have been made for many, many years. And uh, we all know the reasons for that, because uh, we had a common agenda with most of the other players in the world many, many years back, and that doesn't seem to be leaving uh, us in terms of its, its effect. Uh, but more importantly, I think it will be important to look at uh, the conversations which are being taken place with the Taliban by many other important capitals of the world. So I think uh, I can just uh, disregard this as potentially a strategic leak or otherwise. Thank you, Mr. Uh, if and when the Afghan government feels it necessary and feels it useful uh, to reinvigorate the Joint Commission, I can assure you that Pakistan would have absolutely no problem with that or any other initiative that the Afghans, through a intra-Afghan dialogue, have as the way forward. So it is for the Afghans really to determine the way forward. Then it is for neighbors like Pakistan, important, yes, but neighbors like Pakistan to back that fully and for the region to back that fully and then for the international community for the, for, for, to back it fully. So this is uh, the way the direction should be uh, seen. There has been uh, for a couple of years a sea change in the relation between Afghanistan and Pakistan. Uh, there is definitely, there has been an up and down, and that's normal, it's yeah. happening. And that's uh, the importance that we should be in contact, in touch, and solve the problem the way that will be satisfactory for both sides. And we will continue. Uh, they might have another problem in the future. It does not mean that will change the decision that we have made together to work together and, and, and reach uh, for the good of our people, good results in the future. Thank you.